Hey guys, it's your Red Dead Head here with my first ever video. As a quick introduction to the channel, I'll be bringing you all the latest news and information on Red Dead Redemption 2 and doing some discussion videos and Q&As in the very near future. If you want to stay updated and informed, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. You should also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Red Dead underscore Head for regular updates and sneak peeks of upcoming videos. I'm super excited to bring you this video because I have some unique info on Red Dead Redemption 2. The announcement trailer that Rockstar released back in October actually gives us a lot more clues about the game than you know. By going through certain bits of the trailer in a lot more detail today, I'm going to be discussing three potential features you missed in the game, both for the story mode and online multiplayer. So without further delay, let's dive right into it. I'm going to skip past these first two scenes from the trailer because these have already been discussed by other sources, but now, in this scene, there could be our first bit of interesting information lurking. Our first feature theory comes from looking at the most prominent object in this scene, the bull skull. It's attached to one of these fence posts, but we didn't see this kind of feature in Red Dead Redemption, so what is it doing here? Well, there are a couple of explanations, one a lot more exciting than the other, the first more boring one. It is simply a decorative item, part of the more detailed world that Rockstar North and Rockstar San Diego have created here. But the second, more interesting explanation that I can think of is that it is an object obtained from hunting. Anything that you obtained from animals killed in Red Dead Redemption could be sold for cash in a store, but does this skull attached to the fence indicate more purposes to hunting now in Red Dead Redemption 2? There is a strong possibility, I think, that skulls, horns, skins and furs can be taken from animals that you successfully kill and then used as a decoration or trophy from hunting conquests displayed inside your house or outside on the fence if you own a larger property like a ranch. Now we get onto this nighttime shot, which on visuals alone is my favourite part of this trailer. Given that we have a person and his horse camped out during the nighttime, it could mean we will see things like finding ways to sustain yourself with food, heat and shelter featured in Red Dead Redemption 2. This is where it gets really exciting, and I tell you about the second feature, and it is all to do with this tree in the foreground. The Dreamcatcher and Native American influence have been pointed out before, but not this leaf that just glides past your eyes as it falls to the ground. Wait a minute, leaves don't fall to the ground in open world video games? Just think for a minute how this could change the open world dynamic. Of course, it's all hypothetical at this point, but the fact that Rockstar included this falling leaf in the trailer speaks volumes. This phenomenon is characteristic of the fall, or autumn season, meaning we could see this season, along with spring, summer and winter as part of Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay. We could be seeing seasons followed in real time, so for example as we approach Christmas, instead of getting just the odd day or two of snow like we do in GTA Online, we could be getting weeks or even months of it in Red Dead Redemption 2. These seasons may also not be dependent on story progression, meaning whether you religiously follow the story or if you want to go at a slower pace and play all the side missions that Rockstar loves to include, the world will still change. It may be something that is just limited to Red Dead Online, but we need more info before confirming that. So that's feature number two, seasons. In our first look at a town or city in this trailer, we are getting a few teasers of what types of outfits will be available to us in the game, such as suits, dungarees and even perhaps aprons. We've also got what appears to be a building under construction on the left. Now I'll discuss this in more detail in a minute, but this could hint further at an extremely dynamic world. I like this shot for a few reasons. The contents of the barn give us a few clues about certain elements of the game. Firstly, the old wagon parts, namely the rusty wheels and the horse saddle resting on the workbench, bear some small resemblance in layout to that of an LS Customs from GTA 5, where we would go to modify vehicles and there would be old car parts lying around. Could this perhaps mean we do horse and stagecoach customization in the barns? It would make sense, given that the barn is where horses and wagons will most likely be stored, and we are still awaiting more information from Rockstar Games on what kind of customizations will be available to the player. We also see other random objects lying around on the right hand side, such as a gas lamp, a broom, rope, perhaps confirming the return of the hogtie, baskets and kegs, which we will see in the next scene attached to stagecoaches. This is another screenshot that has been very under-analyzed and it's where I talk to you about feature number three. Notice this fire that's going on in the building in the top left. It's destroying the roof and the walls. Fires in buildings typically stay ablaze for a few hours before somebody puts it out, so we are looking at an instantaneous event. Assuming these fires are not part of the overarching story, we could be getting more clues about this dynamic and responsive world that Rockstar seems to be hinting at. So, what does all this mean? Well, let's say a fire starts somewhere on the map. It could permanently destroy anything that was affected by that fire. 
Couple this destruction type event with what we saw earlier on by the Worth's general store with that building under construction on the left, and before that, the leaf falling from the tree, these are all elements that point towards the same thing. A world that reacts to changes made by natural events and unnatural events caused by the player. For example, starting a fire. So that is my third feature, dynamic structures. So there you have it, three potentially very exciting features in Red Dead Redemption 2, all from clues in the announcement trailer. We've seen Rockstar hinting at seasons, a world with buildings that dynamically change over time due to construction and destruction, and some new features coming to hunting. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, be sure to leave a like and a comment below. Over the next few weeks and months, I'll be bringing you all the latest and best news and information on Red Dead Redemption 2, so stay tuned. In the meantime, let's stay hopeful for some official announcements from Rockstar Games soon. See you in the next one, Outlaws.